Hey, it's a beautiful day here in Wisconsin, and we're visiting the Nina Paper, Appleton Paper Mill. If you give me a few minutes, I'm going to show you how paper is made on their paper machine number four. Come along. I'm standing in front of a pile of wet lap post-consumer waste pulp, and we're going to go and we're going to see some recycled paper being made here in this paper mill. Come on, let's go along. We're standing here and we're adding the 100% post-consumer waste wet lap pulp into the pulper. Getting ready to make recycled paper. Here we're starting to see a variety of different pulps being added to the pulper. Here you see the bags of chemicals being added to the pulper along with the 100% post-consumer waste wet lap pulp. Here we are at pulper number four. You can see the pulp being mixed. This pulper is about 12 feet deep and holds about two tons of paper making materials. That is cool. <laughs> I love that. I'm standing here by paper machine number four. You've just seen the pulp being processed and it's being fed, in, fed into the wet end of the machine here where it will be laid out onto the wire of the machine getting ready to turn this pulp into paper. The paper pulp consists of about 98% water and the idea of the wire is to remove the water rapidly from the paper fibers. You can see the water dripping out of the paper fiber now. Still here on the wet end of PM4, the paper running by is going at about 650 feet per minute. You can also see that here on the wet end, a dandy roll is putting a watermark right onto the paper. Here what you're looking at is the transition from the wet end of the machine to the dry end of the machine. This is where the rubber meets the road. This is where the pulp slurry actually turns into paper. I had said before, at the beginning of the wet end of the machine, the paper was a little bit more than 98% water. Here, the paper is now about 78% water and is going into the dryer section of the machine. I'm standing here between paper machine number four and paper machine number three. I'm here in the dryer section. It's about 100 degrees Fahrenheit here. Good thing it's May in Wisconsin because it's not too bad. As you can see, the paper machines are very large and very long pieces of equipment. As you can see, I'm standing right in front of the dryer section of paper machine number four. It is very hot right here. The machinery needed to dry this paper off to give you the paper that you're going to use on your desktop or in your printing press takes a lot of energy and a lot of equipment to make. This is the size press section of paper machine number four. This is where sizing is added to the paper. This is what gives the paper its surface strength and as well adds some smoothness to the sheet. Okay, we're almost home free. This is the last station in the paper machine. This is the calendar stack. This paper actually is, is bypassing the calendar stack because it doesn't require any further smoothing. But if they did want to make this paper more smooth, it would be winding through these polished rolls. We're here at the roll stand end of the machine, and I'm happy about that because it's a lot cooler here. But you can see that finally, the pulp that was being processed going onto the wet end of the machine, going into the press area of the machine, and finally coming here and being wound up into a roll that will be split and sheeted in a later process. Here I'm holding a sample of paper that's just come off of the paper machine. This is a paper maker's sample. You can see that it's stamped, signed, and so on. Paper quality is of the utmost importance in paper making, and taking paper samples is one way that the paper makers make sure that you're getting the best quality product coming off of some of the finest machinery in North America.